yes consider the following linear programming problem max z equal to 15x1 plus 10x2 subject to the constraints 4x1 plus 6x2 is lesser than or equal to 360 and 3x1 plus 0x2 is less than or equal to 180 and 0x1 plus 5x2 is less than or equal to 200 x1 is x2 is greater than or equal to here this is equal to equal to 0 the solution of the linear programming problem using graphical solution so uh, to find out the linear pro programming problem in graphic solution it is a very easy technique yes let's we see that so first this is the question is max z okay so and then subject to the constraint so we have to see that 4x1 plus 6x2 so uh take the t equation first 4x1 plus 6x2 equal to 360 now consider the x1 is 0 so x1 is 0 what happens this value becomes 0 and 6x2 equal to 360 so x2 equal to 60 so note down the point 0 comma 60 and next consider this x2 is 0 so if x2 is 0 then 4x1 equal to 360 then x1 equal to 90 okay so here x1 is 90 so 90 comma 0 okay 90 comma 0 so for this equation the points are 0 comma 60 and 90 comma 0 for this equation 0 comma 60 and 90 comma 0 and go to the second equation 3x1 plus 0x2 is less than or equal to 180 you consider this this one is zero okay so just leave that 0x2 this write it down 3x1 equal to 180 so x1 equal to 60 okay so uh, for this equation only one point 60 comma 0 x2 is zero right so 60 comma 0 point we have to take only 60 comma 0 point and next 0x1 plus 5x2 is less than or equal to 200 so uh, x1 is 0 so 5x2 equal to 200 so x2 equal to 40 so 0 comma 40 so now you take this four points so note down this four points 0 comma 60 90 comma 0 uh, is belongs to the equation 1 and this 60 comma 0 is belongs to equation number 2 and 0 comma 40 belongs to equation 3 now we have to depict this in a graph so now we have to depict that points in this graph so consider this one as graph right so write down this is 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and this 10 20 y axis 40 50 60 70 so what is the first point 0 comma 60 so point this 0 is a x axis and 60 is in y axis this is the first point and then what's the next point 90 comma 0 so in x axis it is 90 and y axis 0 so this point so after this i put a scale okay i'm using uh, my hand but you can you have to use it in a scale and draw this line i have to draw this line using your scale and th this is equation number 1 this is equation number 1 okay so equation 1 i draw the line and the second one 3x1 equal to 18 okay second equation that is the point is 60 comma 0 60 comma 0 so where is 60 so this is 60 so 60 comma 0 this is second equation this is second equation so there is no y axis right so we have to draw only this line this second line okay just to draw this standing line 60 comma 0 just standing line enough so this is equation 2 okay and equation 3 is 0 comma 40 so 0 40 this is equation 3 
so 0 40 so there is no one more axis just write down this put it in a scale so just cross it okay this is equation 3 so after you drawing this you have to find out the intersection area so first we have to check the equation so what the equation says that 4x1 plus 6x2 lesser than or equal to 360 lesser than means if the value is lesser than then only it is feasible so had to go to the equation 1 so this is equation 1 right the red area so which is the feasible area they are telling that this area okay this area is feasible so I am just uh, mark outing this this is feasible area as per the equation 1 ok as per the equation 1 this is the feasible area and so according to equation 2 60 comma 0 3 x 1 plus 0 x 2 less than or equal to 180 that is the line below the line is feasible line below the line is feasible so 3 equation 2 below this line is only feasible so this is not a feasible area right so we have to remove so 40 started here right so this is feasible area I am removing the blue area ok so this is feasible now ok so this area is feasible right as per the equation otherwise you can just ok see this is uh, as per the equation to below 40 this area ok so this area is not feasible what I am doing is I am just removing this uh, so according to equation according to equation 2 so I am removing that this upper part I am removing so what will come so this will come so and then according to the equation 3 0 comma 40 according to zero comma sixty uh, ninety comma zero then sixty right so sixty comma zero and zero comma forty this so so what is the feasible area is this is the feasible area this is the feasible area so we should find out this feasible area now we have to give a name for this so this is O and this is A this is point B ok this is point C and D so O A B C D is feasible so we have to take only these points then we have to apply to the Z ok so what is the point 0 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 when you apply 0 comma 0 to Z so what is Z so now you calculate this uh, point take this point 0 comma 0 uh, that is O and A point is 60 comma 0 and B point is this nearly 20 right so 60 uh, 20 and C point is here it is C this is 30 comma 40 and D point is 0 comma 40 so now you apply this values to max Z to max Z so what is max Z max Z is 15 x 1 plus 10 x 2 so now I am applying 0 comma 0 that is equal to 15 into 0 plus 10 into 0 that gives 0 and the next point is 60 comma 0 so when I apply 60 comma 0 15 into 60 that is equal to 900 plus 0 that is equal to 900 and taking another value 60 comma 20 
sixty nine hundred plus twenty into ten two hundred that is equal to thousand hundred and then again take this value thirty comma forty what fifteen into thirty four fifty plus four hundred that is equal to nine fifty and then uh, zero comma forty so that is equal to 0 plus 400 which gives 400 so in this we have to choose the maximum value in this we have to choose the maximum value because they given that max z so max z means we have to identify the maximum value so the answer is 1100 okay when x equal to 60 and y equal to 20 okay x equal to 60 and y x 2 equal to 20 and z equal to 1100 this is the correct answer okay if they ask min z if they ask min z the answer is 0 comma 40 uh, 0 comma 0 will come right or 0 comma 40 okay so here the question is max z so we have to find out the maximum value after applying all the feasible points all the feasible points that is 0 a b c d so apply all the feasible point value to the max z and find out the highest value point that is 1100 thank you